Hello everyone! So today we're going to be doing something a little different um, because, well, it's my channel and I said so. So I want to make a new winter's coat. Specifically, I would like to make a late 19th century Ulster coat. You may know the Ulster coat for being consistently mixed up with the Sherlock Holmes coat. Sherlock Holmes is most commonly known as wearing an Iron-esque coat, which is similar to the Ulster coat, but they're different in a few key ways. The biggest difference is the cape and the sleeves. For example, an Ulster coat has a shorter cape. It reaches to about elbow length, and it has sleeves. It's also one big cape that wraps all the way around. The Iron S, on the other hand, does not have sleeves. And this cape, instead of being one big one that wraps around, is actually two miniature capes that attach the body at the side back. And I'm maybe in the front? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Don't be pictures out. They are also much longer and function as the sleeves. Today we're going to be doing the Ulster, and while I want a more masculine coat, I have not been able to find a masculine pattern for free, and I don't want to pay for it, because fuck capitalism. I also have not been able to find a men's tailoring guide from the period that I want. So instead we're going to be doing something a little Frankenstein-y. We're actually going to be using an 1895 ladies tailoring guide called the Keystone Jackson Dress Cutter, or the Keystone Guide to Jackson Dress Cutting, something like that has instructions on how to use its drafting system to draft an ulster, but it's a ladies ulster and I would like more of a masculine fit. However, because I won't be wearing this with a corset, I'm not going to be having the figure and proportions of an 1895 lady. So I think that by creating it to my measurements, we're going to be able to more masculinize it. I think it's kind of interesting that we're doing it this way because it's an ulster coat, which is traditionally a men's coat that's been morphed into a feminine cut, and we're then taking that feminine cut and morphing it back to masculine cut. I do want to maintain some of the feminine versions. I would like it to be a little fitted and have a full skirt. Luckily, I don't give a fuck about gender. However, I am not dressed to be on the floor doing pattern drafting right now, so I'm going to let Warren Fame, my male drag ego, take over from here. Warren? Sup, bitches? <laughs> okay, today we're working with the Keystone Bag of Jack and Dress Cutting, okay? Lady Terrier Guy, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work, okay? Um, I have measuring tape, pencil, drafting square. This is for wood, I think. I got a Home Depot. Anyway, I have a this a plastic curvy thing, juice print, hot cup in a mason jar. I don't even know if that's something. Um, so, the way they want us to draft the Ulster coat is they actually just want us to draft the jacket, which is the basic jacket, and then apply these specific differences. Like we want it to be longer, and we want the width the back to be like two or two and a half inches. So we'll keep that in mind. So let's draft this jacket. Um, I've already placed the upper right point called O. I placed it two inches in it. I, if I was just drafting the jacket, nothing goes over that line, so I could just use the upper right corner of the paper. But let me draft the ulster, the skirt, so it did pop out over it. So I put it in. Draft, pushed it in a little bit. Um, okay, so. First we draw the line from O to C, and on the top from O to T, and I'm writing with the first line. So... Doesn't say how far down, but please. C or T yet, so um, we're just, I just draw right angle. Okay, from zero to one is three quarter inches for the top of the back. Okay. 
apply the waist length from 1 to the waistline at B, 16 inches, and continue down to the bottom at C, 32 inches, and so on. So it's, that's, not, that's not right. That's not the what's we're using. That's pulling it from this set of, like, the measurements that it's working with for this. But my back measurement is 19. Go up from B to fix A, the height on the arm, which is 9 inches. So we have armpit, like the length of the underarm at A, B is at the natural waist, C is at basically the hip, D is at the length of the floor, and let's square those across. Um, the jacket instructions are telling me to make the, go in from B to another D, a separate D, um, one twelfth of the breadth. One twelfth of the breast, which for me is about, what is it? 3.16? What's that in eighths? One and a third eighths. Okay, fine, sure. Okay, so we're going to go in. And then we need to draw the back seam from one to D.
So it says to make from 0 to 2, 1 eighth of the blade 15. Like that's what it says. Make it, make the width at the top of the back from 0 to 2, 1 eighth of the blade 15. And connect 2 with L by a straight line. But, like, the blade that it says it's working with isn't 15, it's 10. So I'm thinking, maybe it's 1.5. And there is, I just don't see the 8, point, the, the decimal point. No, I'm going to 12. Well, okay, we're going to go with 1.5. <laughs> no, no, no. So let's just assume that the 1 8, we're just going to assume the 1 8 is correct. And, excuse me, we're going to assume the 1 8 is correct. We're going to go out from O to 2, 1, and 3 8. seam here figured out it took a lot of experimentation because from here to here to this T point T <laughs> so from this T point it's supposed it said a sixth of the breast but I was getting that to be like out here or where I initially had the U, it was like out here. But from there, from T, it needs to slope outward to G. And I initially had G here, but then I retook my measurement, I got it more like here or there. That's what we're going with this one for now. Um, so like it's supposed to be, like T is that upper corner there. T is this upper corner, this is U, and then you form the neckline. So I figured, like, was trying to figure out, like, how to get there. And then, as you can see, it's supposed to slope outwards to G, but I was always getting it either in line with G or ahead of G. So I had to figure out where to put it <laughs> so that it was, like, I had to figure it out, figure out the measurements to get it shy of G. And I think, like, this will work, but then, it, that line continues on down, and we're out of paper. It goes off the freaking paper. Because of course it does! Um, excuse me. So, yeah. Let's see if we can't, hopefully, I mean, it's like, I think we'll be fine. We'll see when we start drafting the script pieces. Okay, so the next part is to measure from D to 6, and then 7 over to Q. And then we need to figure out the, dis or the difference between that and my waist measurement. So, D to 6 should be 2. 
two and a half, because that's what I said it. And it's two and a half. And then from seven to Q. Eighteen. So twenty times two forty one. Wait, twenty point five. And then my waist is thirty seven. So we need to take out one point seven five. Oh, we do get to put a dart in. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay, so we don't put in one point seven five. I've been flipping this page so much that it came out. Shit. Um, see if I can't. Okay, so. To find out what must be taken out from darts, we measure the size of the pattern from D to 6 and 7 to Q, which in this case gives 17 inches, deducting half the size of the waist, 13 inches, from 17 leaves, 4 inches, which is the amount for the darts. And as there are two of them, each will be 2 inches wide. Well, we only, the Ulster code says to actually only, the Ulster drafting system says to only put in 1.75, or uh, only put in one dart. So that dart will be 1.75, but not quite 1.75, right? Um, place then from the star. Wait, no, no, I'm thinking of the waist. So in the beginning, there is like a system there's like, it shows you how to draft a, a waist, which is like a body block, um, for all the different forms. So, um, I'm thinking of that where it says that instead of don't just take this directly and turn it into two darts, but turn it, but you have to remove one, it's whatever. So yeah, we're putting 1.75 into the darts. So I'll figure out where that dart needs to go, and then I'll, uh, draft that out, and I'll be right back. So I... Followed the um, jacket drafting for figuring out where two darts would be. So this would be the center of one dart, and this would be the center of the other dart at the waist, and then this would be the tip. And tip I think. No, it's not the tip. They're just reference lines. So I'll continue looking, um, but I just have, this is between that, so this is, and then this is 1.75 centered at this one point, and that is between that point and that point. Okay, we're gonna do a quick sanity check. Hello, hi, you've missed something. Uh, for instance, you may be wondering, Warren, where is the pattern? Oh, it is now on the window because it is now um, 8 in the morning because my circuit for him is... So, I got it all drafted up and as, while it's pretty... can't see this. <laughs> so, it's... Um, I'll show you in the book. Here's my sock. Very nice sock. Okay. So you see up here. You see up here. It's. They're all distinct. But then you get down here and they're all. Ugh. So you can't cut these out just from the one piece because when you cut out the two side bodies, you're gonna destroy the front piece and the back piece. So what you need to do is you need to tape it to your window. 
well, no, it, it, it recommends, um, it recommends getting a tracing wheel, and I have a tracing wheel, and I have tracing paper, but I can't be bothered to go get them. I don't feel like it. But I do have, on my couch, I have two more sheets. I've got two, like, three long pieces of newsprint. So we're gonna take those on, and we're gonna trace the side bodies. So there's a fence right there, and the sun is like barely over the top of the building over there. Um, so, as you can probably see, there's a shelf of <laughs> dirt it's right there. Um, so we're gonna press on. Wait, did that start recording? Yep. Okay, don't know when to stop recording, but I have it. I have the side panel sketched out. I did run out of page right here, uh, but it's just these two lines. So that one, well, I'll just piece on a little piece of paper right there. Connect that. Send them out, see where they connect. And then, it was time to cut it all out.